So let's do a playthrough on my build linked here uh, and how it plays out. So we're doing some open world PvP in White Vale. I find a lone warrior running around, so it's a clean fight. He has all his health, all his cooldown, and we begin the fight. Right away, you can kind of see a really big, big positive, uh, big strength of my build is that you're getting so much health back that all his auto attacks are essentially doing nothing. And the only big damage I'm really taking are from his non- um, non auto attack so to speak so all, any any skill that has cooldown so all the all the skills that he has it's not doing any damage I'm pretty much at 100% health uh, right now he's actually trying to pull all these mobs hoping that their aggro will help him out but it really doesn't help him out I end up killing him uh, and the mobs are, I make really short work of the mobs and this is another thing with the build is even if you add a lot of mobs uh, in PvE, uh, unless the mobs start doing some special cast, it's actually going to help you out because you're able to <laughs> attack them. Again, uh, all their auto attacks are less than yours and you're going to out heal them. So if, if you do run into a situation where there's a lot of mobs, as long as they're not doing any kind of casting, you're fine. So the next fight is from a stalker. The stalker is actually a very special one. For this one, I see the stalker around. And he goes into stealth. I didn't really think much of it until right around here where he starts attacking me. Um, with Stalkers, it's somewhat difficult. So he, he gets the jump on me right away and he gets a huge hit. So it drops me to about 7k uh, in damage. And you can see how quickly I heal myself up. So the thing about Stalkers is because they go into stealth really, really quickly, you want to make sure you keep your dots on them 24-7. Uh, stalkers are the only classes that I would really say blow your, um, you know, your finishers even if it's not at 100%, or even if it's not at, you know, five side points. And the reason you want to do that is because right here you can see like I missed my finisher, and because of that the stalker was able to go stealth, and he actually messes up. Um, I'm like, I I figured he ran away, so I was like, you know what? I guess he's run away. I don't need him anymore. So I'm running around and uh, hopefully, you know, he's not going to get the jump on me again. So let's talk about Stalkers while we wait for the Stalker to pop himself out. Uh, the thing, as I mentioned about Stalkers, you want to make sure you keep your dots on them. The reason is, majority of the time, they have a kind of a, uh, an amp that after 3 seconds, even damage that you do is not going to pop them out of stealth. So you want to make sure that there's a dot on them so that... Um, any damage you do, even if they're going to be popped right out. So right here, there's the Stalker again. He was stupid enough to uh, unstealth himself very close to where I was. So I go ahead and start getting the jump on him. And the first thing I start doing is I make sure there's a debuff on him all the time. So I actually got lucky right there that the uh, the mob hit him. Otherwise, he would have been able to run away. So I'm, you can see like pretty much I'm putting as soon as I get anything close I start putting, uh, you know, putting dots on them so he can't, he can, uh, he can't stealth. And it's a very easy kill that I get out of that. So I put this segment of the video in here to show a con of this build. It's not an all-powerful build where everybody and their grandmother can do it and you can just kind of easy mode it out. There is some negatives, and one of it is our lack of ranged abilities. Uh, it's a melee class, and we don't have that much range. Uh, and you can see it from here, where he goes up on top of this rock, and I have to, I, I don't have any of my long range skills that I can pull off. So I have to jump up on the rock, and all he has to do is jump right back down. And uh, we only have really two skills that are ranged oriented that we can pull off. Uh, one is our knock back, uh, not knock back, knock down, and the other is our CC, uh, our snare. And if you blow both of those and an enemy is able to run away from you, there's really no way to close the gap. I know some, some builds, for example, will have uh, some gap closers, uh, but this particular build pretty much relies on your CCs to be able to kind of close the, close the distance between you and, and your opponent. So that pretty much wraps up the playthrough section of the guide. So hopefully after watching this, you have a better idea of how the build plays. It's kind of its pros and cons. 
somewhat of the skill rotations. I'll be doing a more in-depth playthrough one where I kind of commentate a little bit more, a little bit more in-depth. I just wanted to give a quick one out so you guys have a kind of an idea of this play style. Let me know what you guys think, uh, especially if you have any comments, suggestions, etc. Please do comment in the comment section. If you guys like the videos, please subscribe and I'll definitely be making more and more Wildstar videos.